Here we are presented with a voltage divider bias amplifier, or a common emitter bias as it's also known. We are asked to determine the quiescent collector current, ICQ, the quiescent collector emitter voltage, VCEQ, and the base current, IB, for the circuit. The quiescent point, or Q point, refers to when the transistor does not have an input signal, and as such, its outputs rest at specific DC values of IC and VCE. The letter Q comes from the word quiescent, meaning at rest. So a quiescent amplifier is one that has no input signal applied and therefore has constant DC values for IC and VCE. This is what we are asked to find in this question. So first, let's review the circuit we are presented with. On the left side, we can note that we have a 10 volt supply connected to ground via two resistors in series, R1 and R2. Drawing that out, we have the following. With VB, the voltage at the base of the transistor, connected between R1 and R2. This is effectively a voltage divider circuit, and as such, we can calculate the voltage VB using the voltage divider formula. This is Vs times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So by entering the values given in the circuit, this results in a value of VB, the voltage at the base, equal to 2 volts. We can state that the voltage between the transistor base and emitter, VBE, is equal to 0 0.7 volts. Using this, we can calculate the value of VE by subtracting the voltage drop, VBE, from the voltage at VB, which in this case results in a value of 1.3 volts for the voltage at the emitter, VE. We can now note the emitter voltage, VE, is equal to 1.3 volts on the diagram. We can now calculate the value of the emitter current, IE. If we redraw this part of the circuit, we have the following. 1.3 volts going across the emitter resistance, RE, to ground. Using Ohm's law, we can calculate the emitter current, IE, by dividing the emitter voltage, VE, by the emitter resistance, RE. This results in 1.3 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms, and gives us a emitter current, IE, of 650 microamps. To get the value of IC, the collector current, we use the approximation that the emitter current is approximately equal to the collector current, so IE is approximately equal to IC. To calculate the voltage across the collector emitter, VCE, we can subtract the voltage dropped across the collector and emitter resistors, that is VRC and VRE, and we can use Ohm's law to do this. We can then subtract them from the 10 volt supply the remaining voltage value must be dropped across the collector emitter of the transistor. So we can calculate VCE as 10 volts minus IC times the sum of RC and RE. Entering the relevant values, we can calculate VCE to be 4.8 volts. These voltage drops can be shown on the diagram as follows. Finally, to calculate the value of the base current, IB, we take the emitter current and divide it by the sum of the DC beta of the transistor, shown as HFE equal to 80 in this example, and add 1 to it. Entering the relevant values into the equation gives a base current IB of 8.02 microamps.